Hello everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. It's Monday, I hope that your Monday is okay. Today's expression is boring. I, I'm sorry, it is. The early bird catches the worm. Now, for some of you, this might be a new expression. In that case, it's good. But for many of you, you probably know the expression. So, for those people, I have a bonus expression, okay? And that's after the dialogue. But anyway, the early bird catches the worm. So what does this expression mean? Well, it means the bird that wakes up early in the morning can go into the grass and find the worm and eat the worm. The first bird to wake up gets to have breakfast. The other birds, the lazy birds, they don't get to eat and they get like bad worms and small worms. And the early birds, they have many worms. Oh, look at all the worms. It's like spaghetti. <laughs> this is, er, that, that's the idea of the early bird catches the worm. So in daily English, the idea is wake up early and you will have a successful day. Yeah. And I agree. I love the idea of waking up early. But the reality of waking up early is not always so fun. It's sometimes really difficult to wake up early. Now me, uh, these days, I'm pretty good. I'm getting up uh, about seven. I don't have to. Uh, I, I wake up naturally. My alarm, I have an alarm on my phone. My alarm goes off at eight, but I'm usually up before my alarm. So that makes me happy. I know eight o'clock sounds really nice, but I work all day into the night. So don't misunderstand. Some people work better at night. They hate the morning. For those people, the early bird catches the worm? No, no, no. They don't like it. They don't like it. So for those people, I have another expression. Check out the dialogue. Get up! It's 5.30! What? Get out of my room! <gasps> Come on! The early bird gets the worm! Uh, and the second mouse gets the cheese! <sighs> There you go. The early bird catches or gets or eats the worm. The second mouse gets or eats or takes the cheese. Yeah. You know, a mouse trap. You know, it's a piece of wood and there's a piece of cheese and there's a wire. And the first mouse that comes to take the cheese, pff, that mouse dies. It's sad, I know, it's a sad story, but nobody wants to have mice in their house. But the second mouse that comes, oh, sorry, excuse me, he can actually eat the cheese. The first mouse who tries to eat the cheese dies, but the second mouse can eat the cheese. Yeah. So, if somebody tells you, come on, the early bird gets the worm, and you don't like it, you can say, yeah, 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 the second mouse gets the cheese. And then you can sleep a little bit more. It's true, it's true. Both are true. Early birds, they have their choice of worms, that's true. But also, you know, the second mouse, they get the cheese. Yeah, I guess, what's the, what's the story here? There is no right and there is no wrong. It depends. It depends on the situation. It depends. For some people, the early bird gets the worm. But for other people, the second mouse gets the cheese. What about you? What is your preferred philosophy? The early bird catches the worm. Ooh, morning spaghetti. <laughs> or... The second mouse gets the cheese. Oh, yeah, I like the cheese. Have a pizza. What is your preference? Yeah. For me, 
<laughs> on Mondays, the early bird. On Tuesdays, the mouse. On Wednesdays, the early bird. On Thursdays, the second mouse. Yeah, that's the idea. That's it. Don't forget, go to our website, www.letsmasterenglish.com. Check it out. So many great things. www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. You can get 11 free uh, lessons. Eight DDM lessons, three speaking lessons. Great stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Get up! It's 5.30! What? Get out of my room! <gasps> Come on! The early bird gets the worm! Uh, and the second mouse gets the cheese! <sighs>